Hello everyone and welcome inside the Denver Coliseum. Tanner Barth here with you. We get ready for the Class 1A state championship match here on a Saturday night in Denver, Colorado. And in Class 1A, it will feature the 26-1 Marino Rams. They will take on the 24-4 and Simla Clubs. And I can't wait to get this one underway. Two teams evenly matched and Marino looking to make history. The Rams are trying to become the first team ever in Class 1A to win four consecutive state championships. And you've got players like McKenna Suter trying to go out and have her entire high school career involved winning a state championship. You don't see that very often. You talk about four-timers and in other sports and what type of you know accolades and accomplishments it takes to get that done. And the Marino Rams, a chance to do it here today. Marino's uh, pretty dominant so far here in the state tournament. We take a look at the bracket. And so far, Marino has not dropped a single set. The Rams started things off in round two with a 3-0 win over Dove Creek. And then they played this same similar team back in round three. And it was the Rams coming out with the 3-0 sweep over the Cubs. And that was one of those matches that Marino jumped out to the early lead and had a, a big win in set number one, 25-13. to In set two, it looked like Simla was going to even it up at one set apiece. But Marino was able to battle all the way back to win set number two, 26 to 24. And then on the other side of things, Marino advanced to the semifinals where they blanked Dove Creek 3-0. We mentioned Simla on the other side of things. Simla got a first round bye as well where they met the number five seed. Otis beat them 3-0 and then lost to Marino, as we said. That dropped uh, the Cubs to the contender side of the bracket. And they moved on to the third round of the contender side where they met up with Haxton. They beat Haxton 3-0. That game was earlier this morning at 9.30 and then moved on Simla to the 2 o'clock game against Stratton. They were able to knock down Stratton in four sets to advance here to the state championship match. So I, for one, can't, can't wait to see uh, what these two teams have in store here today. And we mentioned that, you know, these are two teams that have met up before, and on the other side of things, it was Marino coming out on top, and vice versa, you know, you look at Stratton or Simla, they have to be somewhat tired, because we mentioned they played at 9.30 this morning, turned around, played in the semifinals at 2 o'clock, so this is going to be their third match of the day, and that takes us over into our keys to the game here on the NFHS Network. First one for Simla is don't gas out because we mentioned that just a little bit. You, this is going to be your third game in, what, eight hours, and you're trying to find a way to, to continue to battle back and continue to stay in the fight because we know this Marino team, they're going to jump out on you and they are going to get you down quick, but you just got to be able to respond. You know, Marino's had an advantage over almost every team they've played so far this season. Their only loss came in a three-set loss to Wiggins, and Wiggins will play for the Class 2A state championships on the court across from us here at the Denver Coliseum uh, when this thing tips off at 6 o'clock. So those are your two keys to victory. First or similar. Don't gas out. And then on the other side of things, defend and counter. You know, we saw them in their win both over Stratton, the number two seed in that state semifinals, as they were really good at the net. You know, they blocked a lot of shots. They tipped a lot of shots right up at the front of the net. We know that uh, Marino has a counterattack of big middle blockers and, and players like Jalen Lynch as well as McKenna Suter up front. So it's going to be key to be able to defend that, find a counterattack, and don't let yourself get out of the match. Stay right in it. Put the pressure on this Marino team. And, you know, if you're Marino on the flip side of things, let's talk about their keys to victory here in the state championship match. The first one's going to be you got to be better on your serves. We mentioned it, the Marino Rams, 11 service errors in that state semifinal match. And on the side of that, you just got to clean it up a little bit because we know that Marino is going to be aggressive regardless. So if you have a few here and there, you know, that's not going to cost you a match. But on this other side of things, you just got to be got to be smart. You got to find a way to go out there and do what you want to do, but also play clean volleyball. Don't give up 12, 12 points from the service stripe if you can avoid it yourself. And then also we wrap things up for Marino. This one is pretty simple. You've been here, you've done that. The Marino Rams have played in five state straight state championship matches. They have three wins in those state championship matches. And tonight they go for number four. The last loss in the state title match came all the way back in 2019 when they fell to the Fleming Wildcats. So if you're Marino, you've been here, you've done that. Now it's about going out and executing 
not letting the stage be too big. And, you know, they've got a ton of players on these teams that have already played for a state championship. You know, last year as a freshman, Kaya Peel, on the other side of things, you've got a, a player like Jalen Lynch who came in as a freshman as well and served a big role in that team. And then, you know, you've got your seniors, your upperclassmen that are trying to come out here and get the job done. McKenna Suter wants to go out with the bang. She wants a state championship on her name. And whether you can believe it or not, she's the only senior on this roster. Or excuse me, yes, yes, the only senior on this roster. So it's going to be something that uh, Marino is going to be loaded for years to come. You just got to try and uh, got to try and get them at some point, And uh, we'll see if Simla can come in here and get the job done. We're about, uh, let's see, what are we now? 15 minutes away from first serve here at the Denver Coliseum. We're going to take a quick break here on the NFHS Network. When we come back, we've got much more coming your way. We'll have the starting lineups for both of these teams as we lead up to the 2023 Class 1A State Championship on the NFHS Network. We're back. We're back here at the Denver Coliseum. Tanner Barth here with you as we get ready for the Class 1A State Championship match. And we mentioned today's match features the number one seed in the three-time Defending state champion Marino Rams. Marino has yet to lose even a single set here in the state tournament, which includes them playing the same Simla team in round number three when they came out with the three nothing win. But uh, I think if you're Simla, you you mentioned uh, that they got to just have a little bit more, you know, gumption to them. You know, you this is going to be your third match of the day. Don't let your energy get down. Come out high energy and put the pressure on this Marino team who takes the service stripe right now. So we're still about ten minutes away. From first serve here as the teams cross in front of us, and we appreciate you guys joining us all weekend long right here on the NFHS Network. It's been a privilege and a pleasure to uh, to bring you the state championships, and we should be good. we got a couple of great matches coming your way. Before we give you the starting lineups, so let's just run down uh, all of the state championship matches that are taking place here tonight. We'll start in Class 2A. Maybe some rooting interest for some folks listening to us here on our broadcast, it'll feature Wiggins taking on Sedgwick County. In Class 3A, it will be Resu Resu Christian, excuse me, Resurrection Christian taking on University. University coming in as the number 11 seed. So they battled their way into the championships, the number 7, the number 11 seed there. Class 4A, it'll be Thompson Valley, the two-time defending state champions, taking on Palmer Ridge. And then rounding out the uh, matchups will be the defending state champion, Valor Christian, they will take on Fossil Ridge. That is in Class 5A. Those are all of your state championship matches that will take place here tonight. And obviously our focus is going to be on the Marino and Simla game because that's the one that will decide the Class 1A state championship. Both of these communities definitely proud of their girls. They've came out here and really represented them to the their highest of their ability and you know, now it just comes down to, you know, who's going to come away with that trophy because both of these teams definitely deserving. Marino trying to cap off what is a fantastic regular season at 26-1. and They would, if they can get the win, make history as the first team in the Class 1A history to come out and find a way to win four consecutive state championships. Let's go over our starting lineups now, and uh, our first team we're going to start with today is the Simla Cubs. We mentioned Simla 24 and 4 on the season. They are under head coach Kelly Kosarha. They will start this way. They'll start with number five, the junior Kylie Marinville. Also in the starting lineup, number six, the junior Meadow, Meadow Newsbaum. In the starting lineup, number eight, the freshman Carly Cox. Can't believe she's just a freshman. Also in the starting lineup, number nine, a junior Ellie Leininger. Also in the starting lineup, number 10, a senior, Amara Maserol. Rounding out the starting lineup, number 11, a sophomore, Katie Gotchel, And the libero for the Simla Cubs is Zeta Harms. On the other side of things for the Marino Rams, let's go into their starting lineups. They will start this way. Number one, a sophomore, Kaya Pill. Number four, a junior, Brooklyn Suter. Number seven, the libero sophomore, Haley Foos. Number 10, a junior, Veronica Bure. Number 11, a sophomore, Jade Powell. Number 12, a senior, McKenna Suter. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Marino Rams under head coach, Kristen Suter, is number 13, a sophomore, Jalen Lynch. So it looks like we might get started a little early here. Usually they start at six o'clock, but we're coming up on the, uh, the 5.50 window. 
Kind of surprised they would start it before six o'clock, but here we are, we're ready to play volleyball. Marino has the ball first. It's Kaya Peel. We're underway in the state championships in class 1A. Here come the Cubs, dink into the middle to Cox. Now Marino on the attack. Brooklyn Suter pops it up into the air. Simla on the other direction to Jalen Lynch. Lynch into the back row, dug out by Marinville. Now middle to the libero, pops it into the back row. Marino on the attack, McKenna Suter. Suter cross court has the kill. You can hear the crowd here behind us and they are loud. It's gonna be a loud evening here of high school volleyball. Kaya Pill will go back to serve here for Marino. It's one nothing Rams. Pill the sophomore, right-handed jump shot. Dug up into the back row. Set to the outside of Cox. Cox is blocked up front. It's McKenna Suter. It's Brooklyn Suter, the little sister double team. Gets the job done for the Rams. Peel to serve again. Dug up by Cox. Set to the outside. They want to go to Cox. She goes cross court. Right there, though, to easily get it is Jalen Lynch. Lynch blocked up front. The double team block of Meadow Newsbomb. Also joining in on the action, number 10, Amara Mazeral. So a side out here for Simla. It's 2-1 here early on. And Nussbaum will go back to serve for the Cubs. Both crowd on their feet here in set number one. Nussbaum serve just a little bit long. It's a service air for Meadow. The volleyball goes right back to the Marino Rams. For the first time, we'll see Jalen Lynch go to the service stripe here for Marino. 3-1 our score, Rams in the lead. Serve is a hard one out the backside. So we've seen Jalen Lynch, she had four service errors in their state semifinal match, but she also had six aces to go with it. That one just a little bit too long for the service here. First serve here from Cox. Up middle to Suter. Suter dinks it over the box and it falls for a kill. Two kills for McKenna Suter and it's 4-2 Marino. Brooklyn Suter goes back to the service stripe here for Marino. Dinks it in, set middle for Nussbaum. Outside Marinville, wipes it off the blocks. Here come the Rams, set far side to Beret. Now middle to Marinville. Marino working good offensively. McKenna Suter, top of the block, gets it to go. Quick set from her sister and she finishes it off. 5-2 Rams, three quick kills from McKenna Suter. State semifinal match, 16 kills from Suter and a majority of those came in sets 2-3. Sets two and three, excuse me. Brooklyn Suter to serve again. Nearly a double hit from Simla. They'll go middle to Leininger. Now outside Beret. Beret couldn't quite get the touch she wanted. Now she'll go right up against and lays the kill down is Ellie Leininger. Kill for Leininger, her first. First kill of the game for Simla, 5-3, and Amara Mazeral will go back to serve. Nearly had an ace, but a nice dig by Lynch. Middle, cross-court kill from McKenna Suter. She's on fire to begin this match, her fourth. McKenna Suter back to serve for the Rams. Nice serve into the back row, dug up by Manoril. They swing it back, and is it gonna be another kill for Leininger? Yeah, the officials are going to blow their whistle and they say, yes, it will be. So I'm not sure if they went too far back behind it. Okay, so they got a certain area where if you go even beyond that, no matter whether you're getting stopped or not, it will blow the whistle. So we'll give the kill on the outside of Leininger. That's her second, 6-4 our score. Lynch with the up, Suter back to Jade Powell. She'll dink it over the blocks. Now on the far side block and a nice dig by Lynch off the swing of Marinville. They're going to go back to Marinville. They will on the right side block. One-handed dig by Suter. Peel will push it over to the back side. Marinville once more. The righty down the line. Dug again by Lynch. Suter middle for Beret. Beret's blocked up front and it is going to be a point for Simla. Marino wanted a net violation call there. They don't get it. 6-5, volleyball back to Simla. Morgan Suarez will go in to serve here for Simla, and it's into the net. 
Service error there for the Cubs. Volleyball back to Marino, make it seven to five. Jay Powell at the service stripe. Powell serve, dug up in the back row by Cox. Now set back to Manor. Marinville, excuse me, in Brooklyn Sitter just kind of tripped over her own feet, and it's a kill for Marinville. Her first of the ball game. Seven to six now our score. To the back row, Suter has trouble handling it, gets it to Lynch, and Lynch powers it through the blocks. It was almost just like a little push shot, but it worked perfectly for Jalen Lynch. What an athletic play by Brooklyn Suter. Tell you what, heck of an athlete. Into the back row, and it's too far. Powell with the service there. That was one of our keys to watch here in the game was eliminate those service errors if you're Marino, and they already have two here in the first eight points. To serve here is Zeta Harms. Beret with the up. Now back to Peel attacking for the back row. Happy birthday at the net. Who's winning it? Lynch is right there. Battles for the ball, and she's got it, and they're going to call her in the net. And it'll be a point for Simla. Eight, eight, our score here in set number one. Harms back to serve for the Cubs. Popped up into the air. Set comes from the near side and a deep one from Suter. And it's going to be mishandled by Harms and it'll be a kill for Kaya Peel. First kill of the game for Peel. 9-8, our score. Side out for Marino. She goes back to the service stripe. In the middle, to Mazerol. Wants to try and kill herself as Brooklyn Suter, and it's popped up in the air. They free ball it back over, and Harms can't quite get it to go. I don't know if you can hear the crowd, but it is electric here at the Denver Coliseum. Hill will serve again, 10-8 Marino. Right-handed jump serve, a good one into the corner. Nussbaum sets right side, and it's a kill for Carly Cox, her first of the game. Suarez will come out. Ellie Leininger, uh, excuse me, Leininger comes back in. To serve here is Nussbaum. Peel with the up, set by Suter. Out to her sister, McKenna. McKenna wipes it off the blocks and down for the kill. Five kills for McKenna Suter. 11-9 our score. Jalen Lynch will go back to serve, and we know how dangerous she can be. Lynch's right-handed jump serve is a good one into the back row. Nice pass up front to Leininger. Bure sets middle McKenna Suter. Blocked up front, and it falls through the box for the kill, McKenna Suter. <clears throat> At this pace, she could be headed for one of those 20-kill games. Already six here, and it's only 12-9. See if Lynch brings the fastball here. She does. Popped up in the air and a nice dig by Marinville. Suter quickly dumps it into the middle. Now outside, Leininger wants to try cross court, has the kill. Ellie Leininger off to a good start here for Simla. 12-10 our score. Carly Cox to serve. Into the back row, dug up. Brooklyn to McKenna. McKenna Suter puts it down with authority. Seven kills for McKenna Suter, and it's 12 to 10. 13 10, excuse me, after that last point. Brooklyn Suter will serve. Into the back row, the up to Maserol. Maserol blocked up front. Now it's pushed over to Marino. Suter dinks it over the blocks. Nice save, though, on the backside by Newsbomb. Close to the net, going to be tough. Suter is going to call her into the net. The pass on the back row pushed her a little bit too close to the net. She couldn't get her body in the right position. Volleyball back to Simla. Amara Mazaral will go back to serve here for the Cubs. Right-handed serve, the up from Suter. Brooklyn pushes it outside. Veronica Bure wipes it off the blocks. First kill of the game for Bure, and that one is a good one. And a beautiful pass inside by the setter, Brooklyn Suter. McKenna Suter to serve. 
Marinville with the up. They go back to Leiniger, and this one is going to be down for a kill. How about Ellie Leiniger? Four kills so far here in the match. She'll be replaced by Morgan Suenes, who comes in to serve. 14-12 our score. Right-handed jump serve from Suenes, dug out the back row by Lynch. Suter, back set over to Jade Powell. And it's blocked up front. Fourteen thirteen, our score. Simla hanging around, doing a good job here in set number one. Suenes dug out in the back row by Lynch. Suter passes it up and it's blocked up front. Katie Gottschall gets it down. And just like that, we're tied at 14. Oregon Suenez back to serve. Bob shot to Peel. Suter sets quickly Beret, pushes it far side. Symbol on the attack. Put down with authority. Kylie Marinville. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. Marino wants to talk about it. We'll talk about him as well. Simla on a roll. We're back after this on the NFHS Network. Hey, conductor, how about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. We're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? <gasps> the conductor only plays his favorite. Woo! My kid heard that solo! You see it like this? Yeah, yeah! Come on! Yeah. We're back. It is 15-14. Simmel with their first lead of the ball game here in set number one. Been a good one so far. Swenis back to serve for the Cubs. Serve popped up into the back row. Suter pushes it outside. Peel. Peel wipes it off the top of the blocks. Simmel with an offensive lead to Marinville. Right there is Suter. Passes it left side of the bump set to Peel. And Peel has the kill. Makes it now 15-15. Second kill of the game for Kaya Hill. Jump serve on the way. Back set. Here's Marinville. Powell with the up for Marino. Beret wants to try her hand at it. Pass to the outside. Marinville blocked up front. She pushes it to the back row. Suter dinks it into the middle. Is anyone going to get there? No. Brooklyn Suter with a kill of her own. That's the first one for Brooklyn. 16-15 now the score. Right-handed serve is going to be too long off the hands of Jade Powell. So we're knotted up at 16 here in set number one. State championships in class 1A. Peel nearly had trouble with it. Suter saves it. Can they put it in? They can. Similar on the attack. Blocked up front. Happy birthday, Joust. It's going to be won by Marino, but Simla keeps it alive. Cross court, it's too far. Attacking air there, and we're tied back up. We're 17 16. Veronica Bure will go back to serve here for the Rams. Her serve is in, nearly an ace. Dug up front, Gotchel, and Gotchel is into the net. Point for Marino. 18 16, now the score. Here comes the serve from Bure. And it's going to be an ace for Veronica Bure. First ace of the game for a Marino team that had eight in the state semifinals. Bure will serve again for the Rams. Popped over to the net. Set from Nussbaum. Middle. Nobody's there. Crepes over the net. For Katie Gatchel. What? 
Right-handed serve. This one's over the net. Popped up on the near side. Now here comes Simla on the attack to Cox. Suter pushes it outside. Wants to go to Peel. Peel back row has the kill. Kaya Peel's fired up. <laughs> she loves getting fired up. 19-17 and Peel after that will get the serve. She's got to take a deep breath. Collect herself. Right-handed jump serve. Dug up by Cox. Set middle. And did she get enough? She did not. Got a little too much, that is. Out the back line. Makes it now 20 to 17. Pale will be back to serve again. Wouldn't be surprised if we get another point here. We don't see a timeout from Simla. Push outside to Cox. Suter. Back sets McKenna Suter. Cross court kill. An opportunity here from Simla, and they keep it alive. Powell. Suter. Does it herself. Brooklyn Suter lays it down. And we'll have a timeout for Simla. We'll take a timeout as well here on the NFHS Network. Set number one, it's Marino 22, Simla 17. We're back after this on the NFHS Network. We're back here, 22-17 our score. Kaya Pill back to serve here once again for the Rams. <clears throat> the sophomore's right-handed jump serve over the net. Dug up by Zeta Harms. Pass outside to Cox. Marino on the attack now. Middle for Suter. Popped up into the air by Marinville. Middle for Mazzarol, and they're going to call her for the double touch. 23-17. Serve is over, and it's an ace for Kaya Pill. Beautiful shot design there for Pill. She didn't come with the hard one. She came with the... Off speed, and we're going to have another timeout. We'll keep it here, though, this time. 24-17 our score. And we mentioned that Marino trying to become the first team in history in Class 1A to win four consecutive state championships. And the Rams up 24-17 here in set number one. And during that stretch, they just haven't lost a ton of games. You know, they're just... A powerhouse in Class 1A, and I think the majority of people know it. Coming out of the timeout, it will be Marino Volleyball. They will serve. And Kaya Pill has been dominant at the service stripe. In the back half of set number one. So a transfer Marino here to take the set one win. Pill to serve. This one to the back row to Harms. Set middle, Mazarol. Excuse me, that was Cox that ended up taking the swing. Now McKenna Suter. Suter finishes it off. Eight kills in the first set for McKenna Suter, and the Rams take the early one to nothing lead over Simla here in the Class 1A state championships. We'll take a quick break here on the NFHS Network. When we come back, it'll be for set number two here at the Class 1A state volleyball championships. Set number two about to get underway here in Denver. The Denver Coliseum. Set number one went the way of the Marino Rams 25-17. We'll see what happens here in set number two. We mentioned these two went just three sets last time they played. It was Marino taking out Simla three straight sets. <clears throat> Interested to see what will happen here. How does Simla respond to adversity after falling behind in this one. Barrow switch, Gottschall comes out, Harms goes to the back row for the Cubs. Simmel will start with the volleyball and they'll serve and it's Meadow and Nussbaum. Nussbaum serve into the back row. Peel, Suter, outside to Lynch, Lynch cross court. Happy birthday at the net, who's winning it? It's not gonna be won by either it is down in, it is a point for Marino. Here's the serve by Peel. Popped up into the air. Blocked up front, but powered through the block is Carly Cox. Second kill of the game for Cox. And if you think these teams uh, have a little something else they're fighting for, they played in football today. The class. 
eight man. Ooh, just a little far service there there for Nussbaum. They played in the eight man state quarterfinals earlier today and it was similar coming out on top 37 to 14. So Moreno trying to avenge that loss here on the volleyball side of things. Rocket from Lynch popped up into the air. <clears throat> Harms just has to push it to the back row. They're gonna set middle for Suter and they're gonna say it's in. Ninth kill of the match for McKenna Suter, 2-1 Marino. Here's Jalen Lynch's serve, Cannon again. Popped up near the front of the net. Puts it down into the back row is Ellie Leininger. Five kills for Leininger. Here comes the serve for Mazarol. Popped up. Marino able to keep it alive, and Peel goes to the back corner. Now back set to Leininger. Blocked up front by Powell, but she powers it off the blocks. And they're really going to Leininger. Went to Cox. And Marinville early in that state semifinal game. Back set. Nearly a kill, and it is for McKenna Suter. 10 now for Suter, first player in double figures. <clears throat> Here comes the serve. It's a good one from Suter. Trying to go back row. Will anyone get there to save it? No, and it's a kill for Gotchel. Four three our score. Morgan Swinnis will come in and serve here for Simla. McKenna Suter takes a swing, powers it through the box. They can't quite get it across. Swinnis will serve here for Simla. Popped up into the air, near side for Beret. Beret powers it through the box and down. Second kill of the match for Veronica Beret. 5-5 five, five here in set number two. McKenna Suter will serve. Newsbomb right side to Marinville. Marinville has a kill. Third of the match for Marinville. 6-5 our score. Here comes the serve, popped up into the air. Close to the net, Suter keeps it alive. Outside to Cox. Cox will be too long on her shot from the far side block. Side out, volleyball go back to Marino. Here comes the serve, dinks it over the box. Harms up to Nussbaum, Nussbaum. Back row too long, did she get a touch? She did. The kill for Katie Gatchel, her third. Here comes the serve by Harms and it's into the net. Seven seven our score. Veronica Bray back to the service stripe. Popped up in the front by Newsbomb. Blocked up front by Suter, and they're gonna get Carly Cox into the net. Bray back to serve. Pop shot picked up on the near side by Newsbomb. Harms is going to have to just push it over to the back row. Suter sets middle for Lynch. Lynch powers it off the box. Two kills now for Jalen Lynch. 9-7 our score. Beret to serve again for Marino. This one close to the net. Who's winning it? Jalen Lynch puts it straight down. Beret. Suter, outside Peel, Peel down the line, has the kill. 
You saw Peel point to her coach on the bench and says, that one's on you. I wonder if she told Suter to push it to the outside. <clears throat> Here's the serve from Beret. Popped up into the air to Mazarol. Suter, back to Peel. Peel down the line, has another kill. Five now for the sophomore, Kaya Peel. 11 to seven, Marino in the lead. Beret to serve again. Soft shot popped up into the air on the near side of Cox. Across the net, Peel with the up. They're just gonna have to go back row to Suter. Suter has the kill from the back row, 11. And we're gonna force a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them as well. Set number two, Marino on a 6-0 run. It's Rams 12, Simla 7. We're back after this on the NFHS Network. We're back here as we get ready for the remainder of set number two. It's currently 12-7, Marino in the lead. Beret is still at the service stripe here for the Rams. Marino leads one set to none after winning set number one, 25-17. Beret's serve popped up close to the net, joust. Lynch wins it on this side, but Simla keeps it alive. Suter pushed to the outside, Peel. Takes a good swing, but Cox is right there. Now they're gonna go try and reward her, and she wipes it off the blocks. Three kills now for Carly Cox, 12-8 our score. As the Cubs get it back. And we'll see Meadow Newsbaum go to serve. Into the back row, pops it up. Near side to Lynch. Lynch gets a great swing and goes cross court for the kill. That's tough to defend right there. She can really swing it with the best of them. Only a sophomore. Gonna have a really bright future for the Marino Rams. She's already really good. Serve from Peel. Easy shot, joust at the net and it's gonna be won by Jalen Lynch. No, they're gonna give the point to Simla. Call for the roof up top. Got a little too high over underneath her and you just see Lynch just smile. Pops it up into the air now. Blocked up front and down for a kill. Back to serve, here is Lynch. Lynch is right-handed serve, dug up by Cox in the back row. Popped up near side, Mazarol tried to go back row and it's too long. Fifteen nine, our score. Jalen Lynch to serve, and what a rocket that was! Close to the net, push outside Marinville. She has the kill. The side out volleyball goes back to Simla. Back to serve here is Amara Mazarol. Suter outside Powell. She'll get a swing for the first time in a while. Close to the net, outside now. Marinville wipes it off the block of the Suiters. Marinville catching fire now with five kills. Simmel back within five. To serve again. Dug up by Lynch. Suter, McKenna tries her tip shot and can't get it to go. 15 to 12 now the score. Mazarol to serve again. Nice serve, dug up in the back row by Suter. Now to Peel. Peel nearly had the kill, but a nice save in the back row by Cox for Simla. Suter pushes it herself. Simla keeps it alive. Suter, back set to McKenna Suter. Cross court, can't quite get it to go, and she will. <clears throat> you saw Brooklyn hug her sister McKenna. She said, that one was on me. Wasn't quite the set I wanted it to be but her sister puts it down. Here's the right-handed serve from Brooklyn Suter. Set close to the net, Gotchel. Popped up in the air by Suter, now over to Beret. Simla on the attack, Marinville. Gonna need help, and what a one-handed dig by McKenna Suter. And they're gonna get a two-touch on Simla. It'll be a point for Marino.
17-12 the score here at set number two. Brooklyn Suter to serve. Pushes it outside Marinville. She'll get the tip. Reno though keeps it alive. Brooklyn Suter a little right handed shot. Cox attacks from the back row. Suter back sets Powell. Powell puts it down the line but a nice up from Maserol. Sets middle, McKenna Suter keeps it alive. What a play by Simla. Bure now down the line. Popped up into the air, Cox. Somebody's gonna have to free ball it over and Gotchel does. They push middle, Suter left-handed shot, no. And we play on. And we are gonna get a lift on Simla. A lift on the Cubs and it's 18-12 here in set number two. Brooklyn Suter back to serve for the Rams. Newsbaum back sets here, wipes it off the blocks. Now over to Jade Powell. Powell's right handed shot, nice dig by Maserol. Blocked up front and is it in? Oh, they're gonna say it's out. The official said it was in and then it was out. Morgan Suarez will come in to serve here for Simla. 18-13 our score. Rams on the attack, Suter bumps outside to Bure. Now near side, Marinville blocked up front. Peel back row, dug and saved by the Cubs. And it's gonna be a kill up front for Simla. Carly Cox with the kill. And this is gonna be a point for Simla. It's now 18-15. Simla back within three, Suenez to serve again. Dug up by Suter. They go right back to her, she dinks it over the box. Now Marinville, and it's just, oh, a little in long, and they say it's in. Marinville gets her shot to fall on a nice shot there, and it's six kills. Simla back within two. Might need a Kristen Suter timeout. They score another point here. Suter sets middle for McKenna. McKenna wipes it off the box. 13 kills now for McKenna Suter. Marino back up by two. Kenna Suter to serve again. This one's a flop shot right into the front of the net. Gotchel popped up into the air by Suter. Peel's gonna take a swing at it. Into the back row. They set outside for Marinville. Suter keeps it alive, not a peel. Peel drops it home. Sixth, seventh kill of the match. For Kaya Peel, it's 20 to 16. The reigning 1A player of the year, McKenna Suter, back to the service trap once again. Right-handed jump shot, short. Free ball back over, chance here for Marino. Powell, Powell puts it down the line. Are they gonna get there for Marino? No, it's not gonna matter. They're gonna get Marinville into the net and we're gonna have a timeout on the floor. Timeout Simla, we'll take a timeout with them as well. Marino up 21-16 in set number two on the NFHS Network. We're back here, 21-16, the score set number two. Suter to serve. Nice shot into the back row. Marinville trying to get Simla on a little bit of a run here. Suter pushes it outside to Peel. Peel couldn't quite get enough on it. She tried just to dink it over the box, but didn't get a strong enough hit on it. Side out, volleyball back to Simla. Nice serve from Marinville, the up from the Rams. Back row splits the defense, Kaya Peel. Seven, eight kills make it now for Kaya Peel. Powell will serve here for Marino. Pushes it outside to Cox. The dig is not there. 
And it's a kill for Carly Cox, her fifth of the match. Twenty-two, eighteen, our score. Zeta Harms to serve for Simla. Beret with the up in the back row. They're going to go middle to Peel. Peel dinks it over the box. Right there is Newsbaum. Powell outside to Peel. Peel almost into the net, but a nice job by her teammate Newsbaum to keep it alive. Beret. Harms will push middle, and the setter Newsbaum has to do it herself. Here comes Jalen Lynch, and she puts it home. Set up perfectly, and she finishes at four. Make it 23-18. Simmel all out of timeouts. Beret to serve. Popped up into the middle. Close to the net. Who's going to win it? It's Jalen Lynch again. Set two point now, 24-18. Marino trying to go up two sets to none. Get one step closer to making history. Beret to serve. Popped up near the top of the net. Mazarol, she has a kill. Second kill of the match for Amara Mazarol. Suenez will come out. In to replace her goes Ellie Leininger. And back to serve is Meadow Nussbaum. Nussbaum to serve. Into the back row, the up from Peel. They push it outside Lynch. Big hammer shot, and it's blocked up front by Leininger and Mazerol. 24-19. Simla holding off set point. Here comes the serve from Nussbaum. It's a good one. Peel with the up. Suter going to go back to Peel. She'll go cross court. Now Nussbaum. Sets for Leininger. Leininger powers it through the box. Six kills for Leininger make it 24-21. Get another, things could get interesting. Still set point here in set number two. Newsbomb to serve, another great serve. Suter the up for Peel. Moreno's just gonna have to play it outright. Newsbomb sets for Cox, Cox. Cross court, dug up by Suter. Sets outside for Cox. Cox into the back row. Suter with the up, and Peel has to free ball it back over. Backside Leininger. Leininger back row almost had a kill, though. Marino keeps it alive, and a nice play by Jalen Lynch. Now outside to Leininger. Suter to Suter connection. Back to Peel. Peel. Gets it over, but it's somehow saved by Marino. Now Brooklyn Suter to the back row. Set point, Carly Cox dug up by Powell. Suter, middle for Lynch. Lynch pushes it to the far block. We battle on here, Leininger, Suter, back to Peel. Can she end it? Pushes the back row. Popped up into the air by Simla. Suter pushes it, middle up the court and that'll do it in set number two. Quite a rally. And the point is won by the Marino Rams on a nice kill from the setter, Brooklyn Suter. Sets one and two go the way of the Marino Rams. They're one set away from making history, becoming yet another team to win a state title and make it four in a row, the first ever to do it in Class 1A. We'll take a break. We're back after this on the NFHS Network. Welcome back out of the break. We get ready for set number three here at the Denver Coliseum, and it's currently a two sets to none lead for the Marino Rams. What's Marino possibly on the verge of doing with the two set to none lead? They are trying to become just the sixth team ever to win four straight and the first team ever in class 1A to accomplish the feat. The last time that happened, you have to go all the way back to 2017 as Eaton accomplished it. <clears throat> that one started in 2013, both in 3A. The record was six held by Colorado Springs Christian. But first things first, we got set number three coming your way. Must win for Simla to try to keep their season alive. Marino trying to make history in Class 1A. Serve here from Peel and we're underway. Happy birthday at the net and it's one up front by McKenna Suter, 14th kill here of the match.
Kyab Hill to serve. Dinks it over the blocks. Nearly had a kill, but a nice job by Zeta Arms. Harms keeps it alive. Now here's Marino on the attack. McKenna Suter gets the back line. I don't know. Close. Rocket. It never looks like Suter is moving too fast. Then all of a sudden the ball comes off at her arm like a rocket. 2-0 the score. Outside to Cox, and it'll be a point. A kill there for Carly Cox, her sixth of the game. Kenneth Suter leads all, all players here tonight with 15. Meadow Nussbaum to serve for Simla. Dug up by Peel. Suter pushes it outside to Lynch. And it's going to be a kill for Jalen Lynch. She's had a good game as well. She has six, eight kills for Kaya Peel. Brooklyn Suter is just a great setter, let me tell you. Lynch to serve. Rocket of the arm into the back row. Harms has the up. Now to Maserol. Wipes it off the box. Now push to the outside to Powell. Harms. Back to Leininger. Lynch with the up. Now to McKenna Suter. She just has to push it back over. Middle, Maserol. Brooklyn Suter pops it up into the air. Battle for the volleyball. They're going to get Simla into the net. Say Amara Maserol. Got a little too close to the net. It's 4-1 Marino here in set number three. Jalen Lynch to serve again. For a much cleaning serving effort from the Rams here in this match. Leininger goes to the back row and she has a kill. Seven kills now. Excuse me, eight for Leininger. Brooklyn Suter sets middle for McKenna. McKenna powers it down on the back row. 16 kills now. I thought maybe early on I said there could be an opportunity for her to have a 20-kill match if she's able to keep it up. Brooklyn Suter to serve again. 5-2 our score. Back set to Maserol. Over the blocks. Now back row to Peel. Peel cross court has another kill. Kaya Peel make it her ninth kill for the sophomore. Two out of the top three leading hitters for this Marino team, both sophomores. So I can tell you the dynasty will live on for the Marino Rams. Close to the net, saved by Nussbaum. Hit from the back row. Now out to Beret. Beret puts it down with authority, but a nice dig by Harms. Now Maserol, and it's off the antenna and a point for Simla. Should be 7-2, I believe. They have 6-2 on the screen. Now it is 7-2. Here's the serve from Suter. The up onto the outside to Marinville. One-handed dig, though, by Brooklyn Suter. Similar in scramble mode. Out to Marinville. Marinville shot is out. And we'll have a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout with them as well. Set number three going the way of the Marino Rams. 8-2 to two the lead. We'll take a break. We're back after this on the NFHS Network. Eight to our score here in set number three. Marino volleyball out of the break as Brooklyn Suter goes to the service strike. Pops it up to Marinville. Suter one-handed save and not much she could have done about that. Brooklyn Suter was trying to take that from her knees. Crawling on the floor. Eight to three, our score. Mazarol, Suter is able to save it to her sister, McKenna. McKenna dinks it over the box and has a kill. Make it now 17. 17 in a three uh, set match is pretty impressive. Suter to serve again into the back row. The up from Marinville, now to Gotchel. Close into the net, and a nice job by Brooklyn Suter to save it in the dig underneath the net. Similar on the attack, back to Leininger. Almost has a kill, but what a dig from Lynch. Similar on the attack with Cox. 
Brooklyn Suter sets outside Peel. She has a chance that she wipes it off the blocks. 10 kills now for Kaya Peel. And this Marino Rams train just keeps on rolling. 10 to three, our score. <clears throat> McKenna Suter to serve. Takes a little bit of something off of it. Marinville has to push it to the back corner. One-handed dig, now Powell will push it over. Battle for the ball up front, and it's won by Veronica Bure. Bure's had a really nice match, that's her third kill. <clears throat> Been on point with their passing all night. Bure only a junior. Is this one in? It is. Nice kill from Marinville, her seventh. 11 to four now our score. Back to serve here is Suenes. Suter outside Peel, wipes it off the blocks but saved by Simla. Peel will just dink it over the blocks, gives Simla an opportunity. Marinville pushes it far corner, but Peel's right there to save it. Now Powell. <clears throat> back to Marinville. Marinville, back line's too long. Jade Powell will be back to serve now here for Marino. Powell is sophomore as well. Got a nice serve. Popped up into the air, middle for Gotchel. Battle for the volleyball up front, and it's won by Katie Gotchel. Her fourth kill here of the match. We'll see. Marinville back to serve. Nearly had an ace. Lynch pushes it back row. Now here's Cox. Suter. Middle for Lynch. Pushes it to the far side block. Now working up at the pins. One handed dig by Suter over to Peel. Peel into the back row. She's got a kill. Kaya Pill, the killing machine, she has 11. 13-5, now the score, Marino in lead here in set number three. Veronica Bure back to serve for the Rams. Bure dinks it over the box, close to the net. Suter keeps it alive for Marino. And we're gonna get a double hit there on Marino. Thirteen six. our score, set number three. Harms to serve here for the Cubs. Back set by Suter. Over to Jalen Lynch and she puts it down. Seven kills for Lynch. 14-6 our score. It's a two set to none lead here for the Marino Rams. Kaya Peel will be back to serve for Marino. Peel, a laser into the back row. To the outside of Cox. Cox is blocked up front. McKenna Suter and Kaya Peel is fired up. As I said, she gets into it, I tell you what. No slowing down, Kaya Peel. Sophomore is passionate. Here's her serve, bop shot. It's an ace for Kaya Peel. Second one of the game for the sophomore. It's now 16 to six, Marino in the lead. Kyle Peel to serve again here for the Rams. Bop shot over the top, Mazarol with the up. They'll go back to Cox. Bure, Suter pushes it over herself. Now outside, Nussbaum blocked up front. Happy birthday opportunity, but instead it's barely tipped by Suter. Brooklyn pushes it outside, Lynch. Lynch off the tip of the blocks. They're gonna go back to Cox, she'll swing from the right side. It's a kill for Carly Cox. Seven points for Cox. Yeah, it was kind of like a stepping stone there. It's one stair, two stair, three stair. 16 to seven, our score. Meadow Nussbaum to serve here for Simla. Cubs need a run in them. Just over the net, set from Suter, outside of McKenna Suter. McKenna Suter has the kill. 18 kills now for McKenna Suter, at least according to my stats, there's no telling if they're right or not, but I give it my best try. 
Lynch's serve just a tad bit far. Nearly had an ace, but Simla does a nice job of laying off of it. 17-8 our score, and Carly Cox will go back to serve for the Cubs. Cox's serve. The up from Suter. Brooklyn back to McKenna. McKenna dinks it over the blocks, and they're going to get her for going underneath the net. Seventeen nine, our score. State championship volleyball here in Class One A on the NFHS Network. Here's Powell. Powell, she will have a kill off the touch. First one of the game for Jade Powell, and it's a big one. It's a side out for Marino. Rams get the ball back up nine. A lot of eyes are on the Class One A court right now. Suarez, the up. Into the back row, dug out by Lynch. Now over to Powell, Powell pounds it into the back row. Now to Leininger. Suter back to Powell, Powell off the box, has another kill. Jade Powell, her second. 19-9, now the score. Wouldn't be surprised to see Simla possibly use a timeout here. Brooklyn Suter to serve. Harms with the up, front of the net. Pushes left side, Marinville. Blocked up front by Powell and Suter. Suter, quick up, Brooklyn. Pushes outside, Veronica. Veronica blocked up front. Marino with another chance here offensively. Kaya Peel, back row too long. Nineteen ten, our score. Here's the serve from Mazarol. Popped up into the air, now Veronica Bure. Back set, close one at the net. Going to be won by Marino. Another chance here for Simla, and it's into the net off the arms of Marinville. 20 to 10 the score. Marino Rams are five points away. Thought we were going to have a timeout and said the hold off. Suter to serve, close to the net. Marino with it now offensively. Back to Peel. Peel cross court. Dug out by Cox. Now Marinville wants a swing. Wipes it off the box. Has a kill. <clears throat> Eighth of the game for Kylie Marinville. 20 to 11. Morgan Suarez will come in to serve here for the Cubs. Dug out by Lynch, set from Suter, middle to Bure, pushes the back corner. Nice job though by Simla to keep it alive. Suter, back set to Powell. Powell takes it off the box and has another kill. They've really gone to Jade Powell here lately. She's got three kills in the last five points. 21 to 11 and we got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout with them as well. It's Marino 21, Simla 11. The Cubs want to talk about it right here on the NFHS Network. We're back here on the NFHS Network. State volleyball action, 21 to 11. Our score, Jade Powell to serve. Popped up into the air, right side to Marinville. Suter pushes it outside, Peel. Peel cross court, has the kill. And they're fired up here. 12 kills for Kaya Peel. Marino three points away. Powell will serve again. Rams trying to make history. Powell's right-handed serve. Going to be a happy birthday at the net, and they're going to get uh, Jalen Lynch for being in the net. <clears throat> and it will be side out volleyball back to Simla. Marinville to serve. Here's Lynch, powers it through the box, and it's down for a kill for Simla. Twenty-two, twelve. Now the score. Simla all out of timeouts. Marinville will serve. Close to the net, Suter back sets to Beret. Bure cross court and a nice dig by Suarez. Now to Nussbaum. Suter pushes it outside. Peel. Peel blocked up front again. 
Simo staying alive. Gottschall up there with the block as well with Nussbaum. 22-14 the score. Serve again. Suter middle to peel. Suenez with the up, now to Gottschall. Back to Bure. Bure pushes it middle of the similar defense. Carly Cox will try her hand at it. Dug out by Suter. Tip at the front of the net and it's not gonna get over. It's a point for Marino. 23-14. Serve here by Bure. Popped up to the left side of Cox. Wipes it off the blocks. Suter with a nice one-handed dig and it's hit over and down for Jalen Lynch and here we go. It's set point, it's match point. State championship on the line for the Marino Rams. Veronica Bure back to serve. Popped up into the air by Simla. Right side to Carly Cox. Here comes Marino. Back side to McKenna Suter and it's into the net. Thought it would be fitting for Suter to go out with a kill to end it, but instead it's 24-15. Zeta Harms back to serve for Simla. Match and set point. This one popped up into the back row and it's gonna say it's out of bounds. It'll be an ace for Zeta Harms. It's now 24-16. Harms will go back to serve once again here for the Cubs. Right-handed serve, dug out in the back row. Suter, back sets to Peel. Peel cross court, tries to wipe it off the box and she will! And the Marino Rams are your 2023 Class 1A state champions as they take down the Simla Cubs three sets to none. And the Rams have made history. The first team ever in Class 1A to win four consecutive state championships. And it belongs to the Marino Rams. And they become just the seventh team all time to win four consecutive state titles. They join Evergreen, Platte Valley, Lewis Palmer, Cheyenne Mowen, Eaton, and Colorado Springs Christian. Congratulations to the Marino Rams, about as dominant of a state tournament performance as you could ever imagine. They didn't lose a single set the entire state tournament, and they will finish this thing with a sparkling 27-1 record. Their only loss coming to Wiggins, who is on the verge and I was in a three set match on the verge of winning a state championship themselves in class 2A as they're up two sets to none. There you go, four straight as you can see them raise the trophy here on the floor in front of us for the Marino Rams and what a way to go out if you are McKenna Suter. The senior wins four state titles every single year of her high school career. She has taken home a state championship trophy and she gets to hold that trophy all by herself Let's go over our final stats. We said Marino ends the season with the 27-1 record. Simla, nothing to be ashamed of. A heck of a performance from the Cubs. They finished their season with a 24-5 record. Let's go over the final stats. First for Simla, leading them in kills with eight is Kylie Marinville. Also seven kills for Carly Cox. Eight for Ellie Leininger. Four for Katie Gotchel. Two for Amara Mazarol. And one for Meadow Nussbaum. They also had one ace coming from Zeta Harms. The Rams continue to celebrate. We'll break down their stats here as they end the season with the 27 and one record. What a match it was for the senior McKenna Suter in her final volleyball game of her high school career. Suter finishes with 18 kills in just three sets, almost unheard of, averaging uh, six kills per set. Also 17, or excuse me, 12 kills in the match for the sophomore Kaya Peel, eight for Jalen Lynch, Three apiece for both Jade Powell, Veronica Bure, and Brooklyn Suter. We want to thank all the seniors that played here in today's match for a, a great high school career. That is going to be McKenna Suter for the Marino Rams. How about that? Just one senior on this Marino team. On the other side for uh, Simla, Charlie Marinville, as well as Summer Wangaro, Amara Mazarol, Zeta Harms. So we thank all those players that left it out there all on the court here tonight and represented high school sports the way it's supposed to be represented. 
Once again, your final score, the Marino Rams, your 2023 Class 1A state champion. They break the record, four straight titles in Class 1A, the first team to ever do it, and they will look to continue to climb up the ladders. This is their 14th volleyball state championship, second most in all classifications. This is a program that's been on the rise, that's on the rise, and will continue to rise, no doubt about it. That's going to do it from here. We appreciate you all listening to us here from the Denver Coliseum. Class 1A State Volleyball is in the books. The Marino Rams, your state champions in 2023.